Dr. Maya Rodriguez, a renowned astrophysicist, sat alone in the observatory's control room, surrounded by screens displaying celestial maps and data streams. It was past midnight, and the silence was only broken by the occasional beep of the monitoring equipment. Maya's eyes were glued to the telescope's live feed, tracking an unusually bright object moving across the night sky. It was unlike any satellite or meteor she had ever seen. Her curiosity peaked. Maya adjusted the telescope to get a closer look. The object seemed to pulsate with an ethereal light, shifting through a spectrum of colors. She reached for her phone to call a colleague, but before she could dial, the observatory was flooded with a blinding white light. Maya's heart raced as she shielded her eyes, trying to comprehend what was happening. The light intensified, and she felt a strange sensation, as if her body was being lifted off the ground. Panic set in as she realized she was being pulled upwards, the room around her fading into a blur. She tried to scream, but no sound came out. The last thing she remembered was the feeling of weightlessness before everything went black. When Maya regained consciousness, she found herself lying on a cold, metallic surface. The air was filled with a faint hum, and the walls of the room were smooth and seamless, illuminated by a soft, blue glow. As her vision cleared, she noticed several tall, elegant beings standing around her. They had slender bodies, silver skin, and large, luminescent eyes that seemed to radiate intelligence. One of the beings stepped forward and spoke in a melodic language that Maya couldn't understand. Despite her fear, she couldn't help but be mesmerized by the alien's beauty and grace. The alien's eyes met hers, and suddenly, she felt a wave of calm wash over her. Do not be afraid, the alien's voice echoed in her mind. We mean you no harm. My name is Lyra, and you are aboard the Elorian mothership. Maya's mind raced with questions, but before she could speak, Lyra continued. We have brought you here because we need your help. Our civilization is in great peril, and you possess the knowledge that can save us. Maya's fear began to subside as she listened to Lyra's soothing voice. She struggled to process the reality of her situation. An alien race had abducted her, claiming they needed her expertise. She took a deep breath and sat up, her curiosity overcoming her initial terror. What kind of help do you need? Maya asked, her voice trembling slightly. Lyra gestured for Maya to follow her. As they walked through the corridors of the mothership, Maya marveled at the advanced technology and intricate designs surrounding her. The walls seemed to pulse with energy, and she noticed that the ship was filled with other Elorians, each engaged in various tasks. We are facing a catastrophic energy crisis, Lyra explained. Our planet's core is destabilizing due to a miscalculation in our energy weapons design. We have monitored Earth for many years and identified you as a scientist with the potential to understand and solve our problem. Maya felt a mixture of fear and excitement. The idea of working with alien technology was both thrilling and daunting. But why me? Surely you have your own scientists who understand this better than I do. Lyra's expression softened. Our scientists are skilled, but they lack your unique perspective. Your work with energy dynamics and your innovative thinking are exactly what we need. Please, Dr. Rodriguez, will you help us? Maya hesitated for a moment, then nodded. I'll do what I can. Lyra led Maya to a large chamber filled with advanced scientific equipment. A group of Elorian scientists greeted her with a mix of curiosity and hope. Lyra introduced her to High Matriarch Seraphine, the leader of the Elorian civilization. Seraphine was tall and regal, her silver skin shimmering in the light. Welcome, Dr. Rodriguez, she said in perfect English. We are grateful for your willingness to assist us. Time is of the essence, and we have much to discuss. As they began to explain the details of their crisis, Maya felt a surge of determination. She was no longer just an abducted scientist. She was now an integral part of an extraordinary mission to save an entire civilization. High Matriarch Seraphine led Maya to a holographic display in the center of the chamber. The display showed a detailed model of the Elorian planet, with its core glowing ominously red. Surrounding the core were intricate energy grids and pathways, all pulsating with unstable energy. Our planet, Eloria, is powered by a complex energy system, 
that harnesses the natural geothermal and solar energies, Seraphine explained. However, during a recent conflict with the Targans, our rival civilization, we developed an energy weapon to protect ourselves. The weapon backfired, destabilizing our planet's core. If we do not find a solution soon, our entire civilization will perish. Maya studied the holographic model, her mind racing with possibilities. How did the weapon backfire? What kind of energy were you using? Seraphine gestured to one of the scientists, who brought up additional data on the display. We used a combination of plasma and quantum energy. The weapon was supposed to create a protective barrier but a miscalculation caused a feedback loop that disrupted the core's energy balance. Maya nodded, her scientific curiosity fully engaged. I see. The feedback loop caused an energy cascade which is now threatening to collapse the core. This is a complex problem, but I think we can find a solution by combining your technology with some principles from Earth science. The Elorian scientists listened intently as Maya began to outline her ideas. She suggested using a series of controlled energy pulses to stabilize the core and proposed a method to reverse the feedback loop. The Elorians were impressed by her quick thinking and innovative approach. As they worked together, Maya learned more about Elorian society and their advanced technology. She was particularly fascinated by their use of bioorganic materials, which allowed their technology to adapt and evolve. Despite the cultural and technological differences, Maya found common ground with her alien counterparts. They shared a passion for discovery and a deep sense of responsibility to their people. However, time was running out. The energy readings from the core were becoming more erratic, and the Targans were still a looming threat. Maya and the Elorians knew they needed to act quickly. Seraphine placed a reassuring hand on Maya's shoulder. You are our best hope, Dr. Rodriguez. We believe in your abilities and your determination. Together we can save Eloria. Maya felt a surge of determination. She had come a long way from her observatory on Earth, and now she was on the brink of making history. With the support of her new alien allies, she was ready to face the challenge head-on and find a solution to save Eloria from certain doom. Maya stood on the observation deck of the Elorian mothership, looking out at the expanse of space. The ship was a marvel of engineering, sleek and almost organic in its design. It was hard to believe she was millions of miles away from Earth, working with an alien civilization to save their world. Lyra approached, her expression one of quiet confidence. Are you ready, Dr. Rodriguez? Maya nodded, still overwhelmed by the magnitude of her situation but determined to do her part. Yes, I'm ready. Let's get started. Lyra led Maya to the ship's main research lab where a team of Elorian scientists was already hard at work. The lab was filled with advanced equipment, some of which looked vaguely familiar, while other devices were completely alien. Maya couldn't help but marvel at the seamless integration of bio-organic materials and energy conduits that pulsed with life. Seraphine was waiting for them, her presence commanding and serene. We have gathered all the data we have on the energy weapon and the core destabilization. We believe that with your expertise, we can develop a plan to reverse the damage. Maya immersed herself in the data, her mind working at a feverish pace. The Elorians had a deep understanding of energy manipulation, but their methods were vastly different from anything she had encountered on Earth. She quickly realized that the key to solving the crisis would be to find a way to bridge the gap between their technologies. As the days passed, Maya and the Elorian scientists made significant progress. They developed a series of controlled energy pulses designed to stabilize the core and reverse the feedback loop. However, implementing this solution required a rare mineral called Astrium, which was only found on a distant, uncharted planet. We have to go there, Maya said, her determination unwavering. Without the Astrium, we can't stabilize the core. Lyra and Seraphine exchanged glances, then nodded. We will assemble a team and prepare for the mission, Seraphine said. This will be a dangerous journey, but it is our only hope. Maya prepared for the mission, knowing that the fate of an entire civilization rested on their success. She couldn't help but feel a mixture of fear and excitement as they set off for the uncharted planet, 
ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. The journey to the uncharted planet was long and fraught with tension. Maya spent much of her time studying the intricacies of Elorian technology, fascinated by their advanced methods and materials. She marveled at how their bio-organic ships could adapt and heal, almost as if they were living beings. Lyra joined her in the ship's lab, where Maya was experimenting with some of the equipment. You seem to be enjoying yourself, Lyra observed with a smile. It's incredible, Maya replied, her eyes sparkling with excitement. Your technology is so advanced, yet so different from ours. I'm learning so much, and I think it's going to help us find a solution. Lyra nodded, her expression serious. We have great faith in you, Dr. Rodriguez. Our scientists are skilled, but your unique perspective is invaluable. As they neared the uncharted planet, the team gathered in the ship's briefing room. The planet's surface was harsh and inhospitable, with volatile weather and dangerous wildlife. They would need to be careful and work quickly to extract the astrium. Seraphine addressed the team, her voice steady and commanding. This mission is critical. We must secure the astrium and return to Eloria as soon as possible. Our people are counting on us. Maya felt a surge of determination as they prepared to land. She was ready to face whatever challenges awaited them, knowing that the stakes were higher than ever. The landing was rough the ship buffeted by strong winds and violent storms. As they stepped onto the planet's surface, Maya was struck by the harsh beauty of the landscape. Jagged mountains loomed in the distance, and the air was filled with the smell of sulfur. The team quickly set to work, using advanced scanning equipment to locate the astrium deposits. Maya's heart pounded as they moved through the treacherous terrain, every step a reminder of the danger they faced. Finally, they reached a rich deposit of astrium. The mineral glowed with a soft blue light, pulsing with energy. Maya and the team carefully began the extraction process, knowing that any mistake could be deadly. As they worked, Maya couldn't shake the feeling that they were being watched. She glanced around nervously but saw nothing. She pushed the thought aside, focusing on the task at hand. They had to succeed, no matter the cost. As the team continued to extract the astrium, Maya's unease grew. The planet's volatile environment was dangerous enough, but she couldn't shake the feeling that something else was out there, watching them. Her fears were confirmed when a sudden explosion rocked the ground beneath them. Maya and the others were thrown to the ground, scrambling to find cover. A group of Targans, the brutal rivals of the Elorians, emerged from the shadows, their weapons trained on the team. Maya's heart raced as she recognized the Targan's savage appearance, hulking figures with dark reptilian skin and eyes that glowed with a predatory light. They were heavily armed, and their intentions were clear. Lyra sprang into action, barking orders to the team. Defensive positions! Protect the Astrium at all costs! The Elorians fought back with a fierce determination, using their advanced weapons and technology to hold off the Targans. Maya found herself in the midst of the battle her mind racing with fear and adrenaline. One of the Targans lunged at her, but Maya managed to dodge and grab a nearby weapon. She fired, the blast knocking the Targan back. She couldn't believe she was actually fighting in a real battle. But her survival instincts kicked in, driving her to keep fighting. The battle raged on, the ground shaking with the force of explosions and energy blasts. The Elorians fought valiantly, but the Targans were relentless. Just as it seemed the team might be overwhelmed, a sudden surge of energy erupted from the ground. The astrium deposits began to glow brighter, pulsing with an intense light. Maya realized that their extraction efforts had triggered a reaction, and the energy was now building to a critical point. We have to get out of here, Maya shouted, her voice barely audible over the noise. The astrium is going to explode. The team scrambled to evacuate, carrying as much of the precious mineral as they could. The ground shook violently, and Maya could feel the heat building beneath her feet. They barely made it to the ship before the astrium deposits erupted in a massive explosion, sending shockwaves through the air. As they ascended into the sky, Maya looked back at the planet, now engulfed in flames. They had managed to secure the astrium, but the cost had been high. She couldn't help but feel a deep sense of loss for the destruction they had left behind. The journey back to Eloria was tense and somber. The team had survived, 
but they knew that the battle with the Targans was far from over. Maya and the Alorians prepared themselves for the challenges ahead, knowing that their fight to save Aloria had only just begun. Back aboard the Alorian mothership, the team quickly got to work integrating the Astrium into their energy stabilizer. Maya's mind buzzed with ideas as she worked alongside Lyra and the other scientists. The precious minerals' unique properties held the key to reversing the core's destabilization. Maya took the lead, coordinating the efforts of the team. They created a prototype device that could harness the Astrium's energy and deliver controlled pulses to the core. The challenge was to calibrate the pulses precisely to avoid further disruptions. We're running out of time, Seraphine reminded them, her voice steady but urgent. The core's instability is increasing. We need to deploy the stabilizer as soon as possible. Maya nodded, her fingers flying over the holographic controls. Almost there, just a few more adjustments. Finally, after hours of intense work, the prototype was ready. Maya and the team gathered in the control room, their faces etched with determination. The moment of truth had arrived. Let's activate the stabilizer, Maya said, taking a deep breath. Begin the energy transfer. The room hummed with anticipation as the device powered up. A beam of energy shot from the ship, connecting with the planet's core. The readings on the monitors fluctuated wildly, and for a tense moment, it seemed like the stabilizer might not work. But then, slowly, the energy readings began to stabilize. The core's violent pulses started to even out, and the threat of collapse receded. The room erupted in cheers, but Maya knew their victory was still fragile. Good work, everyone, Seraphine said her eyes shining with relief. We've bought ourselves some time, but the core is still unstable. We need to secure more astrium to ensure a permanent solution. As the team celebrated their breakthrough, Maya couldn't shake the feeling that their troubles were far from over. The Targans were still out there, and she knew they would stop at nothing to disrupt their efforts. The mission team prepared for a return trip to the hostile planet to secure more astrium. The previous encounter had been harrowing but they had no choice. The planet's volatile environment and the threat of Targan interference loomed large in their minds. As they descended once more to the planet's surface, the atmosphere crackled with tension. The team moved swiftly, scanning for new deposits of Astrium. Maya's heart pounded as they navigated the treacherous terrain, every shadow a potential threat. Suddenly their scanners picked up a significant deposit deep within a cavernous ravine. The team carefully made their way down, using advanced equipment to stabilize the path. Maya led the way, her eyes sharp and focused. As they entered the cavern, the air grew thick with the smell of sulfur. The astrium deposits glowed faintly in the dim light, and the team quickly set to work. They had to extract the mineral quickly and get out before the Targans found them. Just as they were finishing, a low rumble echoed through the cavern. Maya's stomach tightened with dread. We need to move now, she shouted. The ground shook violently, and a fissure opened up beneath them. Maya and Lyra were separated from the rest of the team, trapped on a ledge as the cavern began to collapse. Rocks tumbled around them, and the air was filled with dust and debris. Maya, over here, Lyra called, pointing to a narrow passage. They scrambled through the passage, emerging into a larger chamber. But their relief was short-lived as they came face to face with a squad of Targans. Maya's heart raced, but she stood her ground. She and Lyra exchanged a determined glance, knowing they had to fight their way out. The Targans advanced, weapons ready, and the chamber erupted in chaos. Maya used her knowledge of the environment to her advantage, directing energy blasts at the cavern walls to create barriers and obstacles. Lyra fought with fierce precision, her movements fluid and deadly. Despite their efforts, they were outnumbered and outgunned. Just when it seemed like they were about to be overwhelmed, the rest of the Elorian team arrived, launching a coordinated attack on the Targans. With their combined strength, they managed to push the Targans back and secure the Astrium. The team regrouped, battered but victorious, and made their way back to the ship. As they ascended into space, Maya felt a surge of hope. They had faced incredible danger and emerged stronger. But she knew the final battle was still ahead and they would need every ounce of strength and ingenuity to save Aloria. Back on the mothership, 
The team quickly set to work integrating the new Astrium into their energy stabilizer. The mood was tense but hopeful as they prepared for the final phase of their mission. Maya felt a deep sense of camaraderie with her Elorian allies, united by their shared goal. But their victory was short-lived. As they worked, an alarm sounded throughout the ship. Maya's heart sank as she saw the warning lights flashing. Intruder alert, Lyra said, her voice tight with worry. They rushed to the control room where Seraphine was already coordinating the defense. Targon spies have infiltrated the ship, she said grimly. We need to find them and neutralize the threat. Maya's mind raced. The Targons had managed to sneak aboard, and now they were in a race against time. The ship was a labyrinth of corridors and chambers, and finding the spies would be no easy task. As they searched, Maya noticed strange behavior from one of the Elorian scientists, Arya. She seemed nervous, her eyes darting around as if she were expecting something. Maya's suspicion grew, but she didn't have time to confront her. Suddenly the ship shuddered with a violent explosion. Maya and the others were thrown to the ground, scrambling to find out what had happened. The engine room, Lyra shouted. They're trying to disable the ship. Maya and Lyra raced to the engine room, their hearts pounding. They found the Targon spies planning explosives, and a fierce battle ensued. Maya fought with all her strength, determined to protect the ship and its precious cargo of Astrium. In the midst of the chaos, Arya appeared, holding a weapon and pointing it at Maya. I'm sorry, Arya said, her voice trembling, but I had no choice. Maya's mind reeled. Arya was a traitor, working with the Targons. Why, Arya? Why would you betray us? Arya's eyes filled with tears. They threatened my family. I had to do what they said. But now I see that I made a terrible mistake. Before Maya could respond, Lyra incapacitated Arya with a quick, precise strike. We don't have time for this, Lyra said. We need to stop the Targons. Together, they managed to disable the explosives and neutralize the remaining spies. The ship was safe, but the betrayal had left a deep wound. Maya couldn't shake the feeling of betrayal, but she knew they had to stay focused. Back in the control room, Seraphine addressed the crew. We have been betrayed, but we will not be defeated. Our mission is too important. We must stay vigilant and continue our work. Dr. Rodriguez, are you ready to proceed? Maya nodded, her resolve stronger than ever. Yes, I'm ready. Let's save Eloria. As they resumed their efforts, Maya felt a renewed sense of purpose. They had faced betrayal and danger, but they were still standing. With the final battle ahead, she knew they would need every ounce of strength and unity to succeed. As the Elorian mothership sped through space, the atmosphere aboard was charged with tension. Maya and the team worked tirelessly to stabilize the ship's systems and repair the damage caused by the Targon infiltrators. Despite the chaos, they managed to integrate the new Astrium into their energy stabilizer. But they knew they had only bought themselves a little more time. Maya kept an eye on Arya, who was confined to a secure cell. She felt a mixture of anger and pity for the traitor, understanding the desperate situation that had led her to betray her people. However, there was no time to dwell on it now. Their priority was to save Eloria. Suddenly the ship's sensors blared an urgent warning. A Targon warship had appeared on their radar, closing in fast. The Targons were relentless, determined to seize the Astrium and thwart the Elorian's plans. Maya's heart raced as she realized the gravity of their predicament. We need to outrun them, Seraphine commanded, her voice steady. Prepare for evasive maneuvers and get the stabilizer ready for deployment. Lyra took the helm, deftly steering the ship through a series of complex maneuvers to evade the Targon warship. Maya and the scientists continued their work, their fingers flying over the controls as they fine-tuned the stabilizer. The Targon ship fired, and the Elorian mothership shuddered under the impact. Alarms blared and the lights flickered as Maya and her team struggled to maintain control. The battle raged outside, the stars illuminated by bursts of energy and explosions. Just when it seemed like the Targons might overwhelm them, the Elorian ship managed to activate a temporary cloaking device, momentarily vanishing from the Targon sensors. It bought them precious minutes, enough to implement the final adjustments to the stabilizer. With the stabilizer ready, Seraphine gave the order to head for Eloria. 
They needed to return to their home planet to deploy the device and stabilize the core once and for all. As the mothership accelerated, the Targan warship continued to pursue, its weapons blazing. Maya felt a surge of determination. They couldn't let the Targans win. We need to distract them, she said, her mind racing. What if we create a decoy? Lyra nodded. We can rig one of the shuttle pods to emit a similar energy signature. It might buy us enough time to reach Eloria. Working quickly, Maya and Lyra prepared the decoy. As they launched it, the Targan warship took the bait, diverting its attention and giving the Elorian mothership a chance to escape. The plan worked, and they managed to put some distance between themselves and the enemy. As they approached Eloria, the planet's beauty was marred by the visible instability of its core. Maya knew they had no time to lose. With the Targans still on their trail, they had to act swiftly and decisively. The Elorian mothership descended into Eloria's atmosphere, heading straight for the core stabilization chamber. The team worked in unison, their movements precise and coordinated as they prepared to deploy the stabilizer. Outside, the planet trembled with the force of the core's instability. Seraphine addressed the crew, her voice filled with determination. This is our last chance. We must protect the stabilizer and ensure it reaches the core. Our future depends on it. Maya, Lyra, and the rest of the team made their way to the core chamber, carrying the stabilizer with them. The ground shook beneath their feet, and the air was thick with tension. They knew the Targans wouldn't give up easily and would likely launch a final attack to stop them. As they neared the chamber, a massive explosion rocked the facility. The Targans had arrived, their forces pouring into the chamber in a desperate bid to seize the stabilizer. The Elorians fought back with everything they had, but the Targans were relentless. Maya found herself in the midst of the battle, her heart pounding as she fired her weapon at the advancing Targans. Lyra fought beside her, their bond stronger than ever as they protected each other and the precious stabilizer. We need to get to the core! Maya shouted, her voice barely audible over the chaos. Seraphine and the other Elorians provided cover as Maya and Lyra pushed forward, the stabilizer glowing with a soft blue light. They reached the core chamber, the heart of Eloria, where the ground was cracked and unstable. Maya set the stabilizer in place, her hands steady despite the chaos around her. She began the activation sequence, the device humming to life as it prepared to release its energy pulses. Just then, a Targan warrior lunged at Maya, knocking her to the ground. Lyra tackled the Targan, struggling to keep him away from the stabilizer. The chamber was a maelstrom of violence and destruction, but Maya focused on the task at hand. With a final, determined effort, she completed the activation sequence. The stabilizer emitted a brilliant pulse of energy, its light spreading through the chamber and into the core. The ground shook violently and for a moment it seemed like everything might collapse. But then, slowly, the core began to stabilize. The cracks in the ground sealed, and the violent tremors subsided. The energy readings leveled out, and the threat of collapse receded. The Targans, realizing their defeat, began to retreat. The Elorians let out a collective sigh of relief, their faces etched with exhaustion and triumph. They had done it. They had saved Eloria. With the core stabilized, the immediate threat to Eloria was over, but the battle with the Targans was far from finished. The enemy forces regrouped outside the facility, preparing for a final assault. The Elorians knew they had to stand their ground and protect their home. Maya and Lyra joined the others at the front lines, ready to defend Eloria with everything they had. The air was thick with anticipation, the calm before the storm. Maya took a deep breath, her resolve unwavering. Seraphine addressed the assembled Elorians. We have come this far together. Our courage and unity have brought us to this moment. Now we must fight to protect our home and ensure our future. For Eloria. The Elorians let out a battle cry, their spirits high as they prepared to face the Targans one last time. The enemy forces advanced, and the ground shook with the force of their attack. Energy blasts lit up the sky, and the air was filled with the sounds of battle. Maya fought alongside her Elorian allies, her heart pounding with adrenaline. She moved with precision and determination, every action fueled by her desire to protect her newfound friends and their home. Lyra was a formidable warrior, her movements fluid and deadly, 
as she took down Targan after Targan. The battle raged on, the tide shifting back and forth. Just when it seemed like the Elorians might be overwhelmed, reinforcements arrived. Allied civilizations, responding to the Elorians' call for help, joined the fight. The combined forces turned the tide, pushing the Targans back and breaking their lines. Maya felt a surge of hope. They were going to win. The Targans were in full retreat, their forces scattered and broken. The Elorians and their allies pressed forward, driving the enemy away from Eloria. As the dust settled and the last of the Targans fled, a cheer erupted from the Elorian ranks. They had won. Eloria was safe. Maya felt a deep sense of relief and triumph. They had faced incredible odds and emerged victorious. Seraphine approached Maya, her eyes filled with gratitude. You have saved us, Dr. Rodriguez. Your bravery and ingenuity have given us a future. We are forever in your debt. Maya smiled, her heart full. It was a team effort. I couldn't have done it without all of you. Lyra joined them, her face glowing with pride. You are one of us now, Maya, an Elorian in spirit. Maya felt a surge of emotion. She had found a new home among the stars, with friends who had become family. The universe was vast and full of challenges, but together they were ready to face whatever came next. As the celebrations began, Maya looked up at the stars, her heart filled with hope and wonder. They had saved Eloria, but their journey was far from over. The future was bright, and she knew that together they could achieve anything. The battle was won, and Eloria was safe. But for Maya and her new friends, the adventure was just beginning. The aftermath of the battle left Eloria in a state of cautious celebration. The immediate threat was gone but the damage and loss were felt deeply across the planet. The Elorians worked tirelessly to rebuild their homes and lives, their resilience shining through in every effort. Maya walked through the streets of the Elorian capital, now bustling with activity as repairs were underway. She was struck by the beauty of the city, even in its damaged state. The sleek, bio-organic architecture blended seamlessly with the natural landscape, a testament to the Aelorians' deep connection with their environment. Lyra walked beside her, a comforting presence. Our people owe you a great debt, Maya. You have given us hope and a chance to rebuild. Maya smiled, though her thoughts were bittersweet. It was an honor to help. Your people welcomed me and treated me like family. I couldn't have asked for more. As they continued through the city, they were approached by High Matriarch Seraphine, who had become a close friend and ally. Maya, I have news. We have repaired our long-range communication systems and established contact with Earth. You can return home if you wish. Maya's heart skipped a beat. The thought of returning to Earth to her old life was both comforting and unsettling. She had changed so much during her time with the Elorians, and the idea of leaving her new friends behind was painful. Seraphine seemed to sense her turmoil. The decision is yours, Maya. You have a home here among us, but we understand if you wish to return to your people. Maya took a deep breath, weighing her options. She missed Earth, her colleagues, and the familiar sights and sounds of her home planet. But she also felt a deep connection to Eloria and its people. They had faced incredible challenges together and forged bonds that she couldn't easily leave behind. That evening, Maya sat alone in a garden overlooking the capital. The stars twinkled above, a reminder of the vastness of the universe and the endless possibilities it held. Lyra found her there, her presence a soothing balm to Maya's restless thoughts. You don't have to decide right away, Lyra said gently. Whatever you choose, know that you will always have a place here. Maya looked up at the stars, feeling a sense of peace. Thank you, Lyra. I needed to hear that. The next day, Maya met with Seraphine and the Elorian Council. She had made her decision. I want to return to Earth, she said, her voice steady. But I won't forget everything I've experienced here. I want to help bridge the gap between our worlds, to foster cooperation and understanding. Seraphine nodded, her eyes filled with respect. We will support you in every way we can. Your work has saved us, and we are eager to build a future of mutual respect and collaboration. As preparations were made for Maya's journey back to Earth, she felt a mixture of sadness and excitement. 
She knew she would miss Aloria and her friends deeply, but she also looked forward to sharing her incredible experiences with her colleagues and the wider scientific community. On the day of her departure, the Alorian capital gathered to bid her farewell. Seraphine, Lyra, and the other scientists she had worked with stood by her side, their expressions a blend of pride and sorrow. Safe travels, Maya, Seraphine said, embracing her warmly. Remember, you will always have a home here. Lyra hugged her tightly, her eyes shimmering with unshed tears. Until we meet again, my friend. Maya boarded the shuttle that would take her to the portal connecting Eloria to Earth. As the ship ascended, she looked out at the planet she had come to love, a place of wonder and resilience. She felt a deep sense of gratitude for the journey she had undertaken and the people who had become her family. The portal activated, and in a flash of light, Maya found herself back in the familiar surroundings of an Earth-based observatory. The transition was jarring, but she felt a sense of purpose as she stepped out of the shuttle. Her colleagues greeted her with a mixture of shock and awe. Maya, you're back. We thought we lost you. Maya smiled, her heart full. I have an incredible story to tell you all, and a new mission to undertake. The universe is much larger and more connected than we ever imagined. It's time for humanity to reach out and embrace our place among the stars. As she shared her experiences and began to bridge the gap between Earth and Deloria, Maya knew that this was only the beginning. The future held endless possibilities, and she was ready to face them with courage and hope. The bond she had forged and the knowledge she had gained would guide her on this new journey as humanity and Deloria embarked on a path of mutual discovery and friendship.